Hey everyone, it's Ella from Slime. We have already seen fun ways to use particles in the past, like creating magical effects and having it follow your cursor. For this video, we will do something more relaxed to help you personalize your particles and add a nice atmosphere to your designs, like this scene, which is our inspiration for this video. First, I'm going to create a similar scene, a nice environment with some trees. Let's use this rectangle for our ground, And we can go into the spline library. Here in the nature section, you can find some very cool elements. Hmm, I'm going to use these trees here. Now, quickly we can adjust the colors here just so it's more personalized. Now let's adjust our position and flip this tree. Nice. And for a final touch, I'm going to simulate some shadow using the depth layer. Let's start by creating leaves that fall just below the yellow tree. So we can click on the plus icon here and create a new particle emitter. We can adjust the gravity and have it set to a negative value so the particles fall downward. Now here, if we click on this icon, we can select the design for our particle. You can choose the options here that are available, or you can upload your own to personalize it even further. To do this, let's click on the plus icon here and select our image. Now we want to adjust the colors of our particles, so it's really important that the icon or image that you uploaded is in a PNG format and the color is white, so you can edit the colors within Spline correctly. In birth rate, I will decrease it to two. And we'll set lifetime to 6.4. And let's have alpha fade on constant. And size fade on linear fade out. And here in particle noise, I'm going to change the type to FBM. Now let's adjust the scale and variation. And let's adjust the speed here to maybe something around 45. 
It's really fun to keep exploring and adjusting these settings until you achieve a result that you really like. Nice. Now we can adjust the randomness just a bit here. Now I want the leaves to go to one side instead of just falling straight down, as if there's wind in the scene that carries them in one direction. To do this, all we need to do is create a particle force. Now let's choose that here. And we can set our force type to a tractor. Now you can see that in the direction that I move or place the particle force, our particles are going to be flying or attracted towards it. So let's make a few adjustments. I'm going to set the shape here to sphere. Here we can adjust the intensity and the damping. And I'm going to add some more leaves, but with a different color. And for a little extra tip, you can add events like the follow event to the particle force. So when I move my mouse around, the particles are now following the movement of our cursor. So now we looked at how to make some leaves, let's try doing some snow this time. So let's create a particle emitter. Now I'm going to keep the colors white since this is snow. And we're going to adjust the gravity to a negative value so it falls like we've done before. And for the rest of the settings, we're going to set coloring to blend, size to 14, rotation to 0, birth rate to 380, lifetime to 2, size fade to constant. Now adjust the randomness and we're done. And this is how you can add some beautiful falling snow into your environment. You can also create an object like this sphere. And then in the particle emitter, select a custom object shape and select that sphere. Then we can turn off the layer of this sphere so it's no longer visible in our scene. Then we can see that the particles are now taking shape of this sphere, creating a beautiful scene. And you can do this with different shapes or even a logo, for example. And as always, you can add this final design to your website or to your app projects code free with Splines Exports. You can always explore and find more examples in our community. And I gotta say, there are a ton of effects that you can do with particles. Let us know which example was your favorite in the comments below and what tutorial you wanna see next. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye.